Hey there, I'm Tammy at All About Living, and today we are going to make a easy peasy simple three ingredient candy called Double Peanut Clusters. And they are so so good. Halloween wasn't anything like it is now. You know, now you have to go get your candy x rayed or whatever, you know, or make sure that there's nothing open. You know, but when I was a kid, our neighbors would give us this wrapped in little saran this and popcorn the one I'm gonna make for you today popcorn balls all those little homemade treats that were inexpensive is what you got you know I mean it was a small little community and we didn't have a whole lot of houses to go to but most of them gave us real candy you know and it was okay nowadays you can't do that but this is great for your grandkids or your neighbors you know your elderly neighbor, she'll remember these. You know, she'd love to have them. Anyway, so we're gonna get started. All you need is some peanut butter. You need a half a cup of peanut butter. You need one cup of peanuts. I use the salted peanuts, but absolutely you could use unsalted. And some, I'm using semi-sweet chocolate morsels, but you can use any kind of morsel you want. And you need one cup of that. And you'll need something to put them on. You'll need wax paper. And I just get these little things at the Dollar Tree because they're easy and I can use them over and over because I'm not really getting them dirty. I'm just putting my wax paper on there. And then when we get done with it, we're going to drop them right here and then stick that right in the fridge. Okay, we're going to get our stove on. And that's probably, you know, like a three or four heat on an electric stove and like a really low heat on a gas stove. And you do need a heavy bottom pot. You need a pot with a good bottom so that you don't scorch your chocolate. That's the only necessity of the whole recipe is make sure you got a good heavy bottom pot. And we're gonna take and get one cup of chocolate. Now this recipe really doesn't cost hardly anything and you end up with a lot of clusters. It's one cup of chocolate and half a cup of peanut butter. Yep, there we go. That's close enough. Doesn't have to be absolutely 100% perfect. And if I'd have sprayed this cut with Pam, it would have slid out, but I didn't. Alright, and we're just going to let that get warm and melt. And I'm going to get my little spurtle. Clean off my spoon because I don't like using metal in my pan. Okay, here, here we are. I'm melting. We're just melting. Getting that all combined. You want to make sure it's completely combined and that it's completely melted. It's going to take just a couple of minutes. Doesn't take long at all. You don't want to walk off and leave it. Okay, see how smooth and creamy. Now all we're going to do is add our peanuts. I'm going to put one cup of peanuts. Just like that. Give that a little stir. Make sure that all our peanuts are coated. All incorporated in there. Okay. We're all nice and incorporated now. I'm going to turn my stove off. I'm going to grab me a little teaspoon. Now we're just going to drop it by the teaspoon on our wax paper. Make sure you have, leave a little space in between. Okay. 
Now all we have to do is sit them in the fridge and let them set up. Make sure you watch to the end because Randy's going to leave a link up here somewhere for the next recipe coming up which is no fail fudge. It's perfect. No fail fudge. A dozen little peanut clusters less than three dollars. There is no way that costs three dollars. I use you know great value peanut butter and all the mor morsels. You know and only use less than a half a bag, a half a cup, a cup of peanuts. Easy peasy, inexpensive, and so good. See how easy that was? I actually stuck them in the freezer and they were ready in 30 minutes. I mean, no time flat. <laughs> Randy, he, loved, he loves them. I love chocolate. <laughs> yep. He is the quintessential chocoholic. Yeah, they're good. Three ingredients, done. Easy, easy peasy. I've said that three times, sorry. 